Hey everyone, welcome. So very, very quickly before we get started, I wanted to let you know about a free online series I have coming up. It is a seven day series and it's going to include vinyasa, movement, breathwork, meditation, um, and it's all designed to help us bring us back to ourselves, to help us reconnect. So if that sounds like something you would be interested in, as I said, completely free, suitable for all levels as well, um, lots of different practices in there. If you would be interested, please keep an eye out here. I will be posting another video very soon with lots more information and with a link if you would like to join. Um, but for now, let's get back to today. So this practice is going to be about rooting into this strength, this stability, finding these solid, solid roots, and then growing and expanding from that place. So in terms of our physical, it's gonna be quite a strong practice, especially focusing through lower body. And then it's gonna be really opening and expansive through upper body, through chest, through shoulders, um, lots of different variations along the way. So yes, I hope you enjoy it. Um, grabbing your props, a block could be really useful for this one. Um, don't worry if you don't have it. And we're just gonna begin seated today on our mats. So taking your time and I will meet you there. So coming down to your comfortable seated position, feel free to grab a block to sit on, um, a pillow, a bolster. And then as you arrive there, Let's just gently close down the eyes. Taking a few shoulder rolls backwards. A few forwards. And then arriving in stillness, maybe with the palms facing down today in this grounding gesture. And just start to become aware of the ground beneath you, of the parts of your body that are connected either to your prop, to the earth. And see if with every breath, you can just allow yourself to root down to really take up this space, to be supported. And then with your next few breaths, start to bring the focus to the length of your spine. See if you can visualize your breath as you inhale, traveling up the spine. And as you exhale, traveling down and back into those roots, back into the earth. Inhale to grow taller. Exhale to root down. Two more there. And then on your next inhale, let's begin to take the arms out wide. Really stretch out wide here. So try and gather up all of that energy, that chi, that prana. And then connect the hands at the top. And gently draw the hands to heart center. Bow in the head down. Taking a moment to prepare ourselves for our practice. To appreciate wherever we are as we begin to maybe set an intention for our practice today. Any word that comes to mind. And something that you are looking to offer to yourself rather than a goal or an end goal. Something you would like to bring, the energy you would like to give to yourself and your practice today.
let's begin with one of our big releasing breaths. Take an inhale through the nose and sigh it all out. <sighs> Lovely, just releasing the hands down, begin to gently flutter the eyes open. Taking any little wiggles again through shoulders, through head and neck. And then from here, if you're on your block or prop, just pop it to the side. We're gonna take that right leg all the way out. So think about Janu Shashasana, but a slightly wider variation. So the left knee is still bent. You could always prop a block or pillow underneath that left knee. And then flexing the right toes, sending that right leg out long. Take an inhale as you reach the arms all the way up. And then exhale, taking a twist to your left. So maybe that right hand comes towards that left thigh, left fingertips behind, breathing in as you lengthen through spine and breathing out, maybe easing a little more into your twists. Gaze can be to the side or over that left shoulder. And on your next breath in, reaching the arms all the way back up through center. And as you exhale, right hand comes to the inside of that right leg. Inhale as you lengthen through left fingertips and exhale as you ease into the fold. And you can stay there in stillness or you can move with that breath. As you breathe in, maybe finding a little more length through left side body, reaching fingertips up. And as you breathe out, soften and fold. Last one here. And then inhale, reaching the arms all the way back up to center. Exhale, this time left hand comes behind and you're gonna sweep the right arm around and up, coming onto left knee and opening all the way through front body. So squeezing through the glutes, opening through the hips, through the heart, relaxing through the head and neck. One final deep breath and release. Just switching sides here. So taking that right hand behind you as a little support, sending the left leg out long and bending the right knee in. Inhale, reaching the arms up. Exhale, finding that twist to your right. So maybe left hand towards right thigh, right fingertips behind, breathing in, creating that space and breathing out, easing into your twist. Next time you inhale, let's come all the way back to center, reach. Exhale, left hand slides to the inside of that left leg. Inhale, think about opening through right side body. So don't worry about how low we get. Just mainly focus on opening through that right side, right shoulder, right side of the waist. And again, you can just pause, easing into um, your side bend, or you can have this little flow movement with the breath where you inhale and lengthen. Exhale and fold. Inhale, reach. Exhale, one final breath. And then inhale, coming all the way up. Exhale, taking that right hand behind you. And then inhale, sweep the left arm around as we come on to right knee and open through the chest. Really squeezing through back body, and creating that length and that space through the front body. So hopefully feeling this all the way down the front of the legs, the hips, the core, or the front of the core, the chest, the shoulders, and release. Coming back to this neutral position. This time bringing the knees in, it will cross the legs over, come forward, or you can sweep legs around. And we're going to make our way all the way onto hands and knees. So making sure we've got this nice, again, solid base. So hands rooting down, knees underneath the hips. And then from there, we're just going to have a little play around with shifting the weight forwards and backwards. So tucking the toes under. As you inhale, start to shift the weight forwards. Maybe shoulders come past the wrists. And then exhale, wave it back. Maybe sit bones towards the heels. Inhale, ripples us forward. 
and then exhale waves it back let's go for two more just like that so inhale come forward maybe the shoulders come slightly past the wrist and we start to feel that little activation through the core and exhale wave it back last one inhale forward this time let's hold it there toes are tucked option to stay here or as you exhale come into your high plank pushing through the heels squeezing through the back body reaching forward through the crown of the head and again feeling into this strength through the hands the base knuckles the arms one more inhale and then exhale wave it back to downward facing dog we're just here for two breaths and then we're going to give the wrist a little break so you can find your movement you can shake the head pedal the feet And then breathing in, start to shift your gaze forward, breathing out as you bend into the knees, end of that out breath takes a step or a jump to the top of the mat. Inhale, create that space, halfway lift. Exhale, Uttanasana, and let's hold it here for a few breaths. So really releasing through those wrists. You might wanna give them a shake, a roll. You might wanna take your rag doll. Allowing the chest to melt down towards the thighs, finding any little movements. Maybe the knees are quite bent here today. Just see if you can have this feeling of heaviness through the upper body. And then on your next inhale, start to roll the body all the way up, pushing down through the feet, soft through the knees, reaching the arms up at the top, maybe connecting the palms, having a little squeeze of the glutes to shift the hips forward. And then exhale as you dive it all the way down. Inhale, create that space through the chest. Exhale, plant the hands, step it back through your vinyasa, so maybe through high plank, knees or toes, as you move down, inhale, lift and lengthen. And exhale, wave it back to your downward facing dog. When you arrive there, two deep breaths. Again, continuing with your movement or breathing into stillness. On your next inhale, let's start to lift that right leg up. As you exhale, draw the right knee towards the chest and then lower that knee down to the center of your mat. You might wanna step the left foot back slightly so we get this length through the spine and we're pushing and stretching through that left calf and left ankle. Holding there, you can shift the weight forwards and backwards. And then finding this neutral position as you breathe in, reaching the right arm forward, maybe hovering that left leg. And again, just finding this stability through left hand and right knee. And gazing slightly forward and down. You've got the option to stay there. You could bend in the back knee and stay there. Final variation, you could reach that right arm back, grabbing the inside or the outside of the foot or ankle. And opening into the chest and shoulder. doesn't matter as well if we haven't quite got the grab you can still kind of get this opening if you have got the foot kicking the foot into the hand the hand into the foot create that space one more breath and then gently wherever you are release the left toes down to the mat release the right hand down to the mat Really pushing down through the hands, through the left toes. Take an inhale as you sweep that right leg all the way back behind you. And then exhale, look forward, knee to chest, right foot steps through. Finding this staggered base as you inhale, rising all the way up into your high lunge. Take a moment here to again find this stability through the lower body. So that activity through the legs, through the inner thighs, the glutes, squeeze it all in. And then we're going to start with these arm circles, so moving with our breath. So inhale as you reach up. And then exhale, circle the arms forward and reach. Inhale. And exhale, come forward. Inhale to lift. 
Take the arms back, exhale forward. Inhale, one more lift. And this time as you exhale, sweep the arms forward and hook the thumbs. Inhale, reach, hold in there. So really opening through chest and shoulders. See if you can spread the fingers nice and wide. Maybe that gaze lifts. Taking one more big breath in. And then exhale one more time. Circle the arms around, framing your right foot. And you're gonna step the right foot back and come into a left side side plank. So stacking the feet, coming into that left side. Or option, of course, to lower that bottom knee. Breathe in there. Maybe bring in that right bicep by the ear, whichever variation you're in. One more inhale. And then exhale, coming into your high plank. We stay here for a big breath in. And then exhale through your vinyasa, either through chaturanga, pushing down through tops of the feet into your back bend, cobra or up dog. And then exhale as you wave it back to downward facing dog. Take a big breath in, big breath out. Connect into your ujjayi breath. That audible breath reminds us to come back. To connect. Whenever we find that the breath gets a little bit lost. Just deepen. Slow it down. Okay, left side. When you're ready, inhale, left leg lifts. Exhale, drawing that left knee in towards the chest and then lower the knee all the way down around to the center of your mat. Maybe stepping the right toes back a little so we find this length once more through the spine. Finding this sturdy foundation, you can have a little rock forwards and backwards into that right calf, right ankle. And then on your next breath in, reaching the left arm forward and be hovering that right leg. And again, just feeling this long line all the way from left fingertips to the right heel. So flexing the right toes, pushing that heel away from you. And again, option to stay there, option to bend the back knee, stay there. Oh, and finally, reaching back, grabbing the inside or outside of that right foot. Again, you could do this actively without the grab. Just think about opening through the chest. Last breath. And then we'll all release the right toes back to the back of the mat. Reach that left arm forward, plant the hands down. And again, really pushing down through the hands and through the right toes. Inhale, sweep the left leg up high. And then exhale, knee to chest, step the left foot forward. Inhale, making your way into your high lunge. And again, a moment. You could always roll the wrists again here if they need it. A moment to find that base all the way from the feet, the toes, traveling up the legs, squeezing the inner thighs. And then we'll take those arm circles again. So inhale as you begin to reach and lift. And then exhale, sweeping the arms forward and up. Inhale, exhale, inhale to lift, exhale, bring it forward. Last one, inhale as you reach, and then exhale, sweeping the arms around wherever they get to, hooking the thumbs, and then inhale to reach the arms up. Again, think about lifting from that chest space, from that heart space. Maybe the gaze is lifted, maybe the legs are shaking. Pull the shoulders back just as far as you can that feels comfortable, that feels like a good amount of opening here. Breathing in and then exhale, circle the arms all the way behind you. Plant the hands down to frame the left foot and we go into a right side side plank from here. So option to drop the right knee or step the left foot back, stack the foot and come all the way into your right side side plank. Pushing down through that right hand and then lifting up through the hips. 
final breath. Inhale. Exhale as you release the left hand down. We meet in our high plank. We stay for a big breath in. And then exhale through your vinyasa, nice and slow or straight to your downward facing dog. Taking a moment here to breathe, to shift the hips up nice and high. And then from your downward facing dog, start to walk the hands all the way back to the feet. Once you arrive there, take an inhale as you lift the chest. Exhale as you fold. This time, option to interlace the hands behind the back to soften the knees. And you could take little sways from side to side, up and down. Just release through the head, the neck, the shoulders. Last breath here. And then releasing the hands all the way down. Inhale, rise into stand, soften through the knees, reach the arms up at the top, connect the palms, option to squeeze the glutes, take a little back bend, and then exhale, dive it down. Inhale, finds that length through the chest. Exhale as you soften the knees, walk it all the way out to your high plank. Option again, as we come into these, we're coming into some more little rocks. You can stay with the knees up or you can lower the knees down. Take a big breath in. And then we rock forward for five, four, three, two, one. Option to move through your vinyasa, through knees or toes. And then moving back to your downward facing dog. Okay, we add on from here. Inhale, right leg lifts. Exhale, bend into the knee, open into the hip space as you push down through the hands and try and square the shoulders. Maybe the left heel is lifted, but focus a little more on opening through right hip. Inhale, re-straighten and right leg, look forward. Exhale, knee comes through to chest, step the foot through. Inhale, finding your way into your high lunge, reaching the arms up. Exhale to arrive. One arm circle this time. So inhale as you reach and expand. Exhale, taking the arms all the way back. Inhale, bringing the hands to heart center. Exhale, start to shift the weight forward. Inhale a few steps or one step into your warrior three. Pushing through the back heel. You can play around with any arm variation you would like to. Try your, as your best to kind of lower that left hip to reach forward through crown of the head. Final breath. And then pushing down through that right foot. See if you can start to draw the knee into chest as we come all the way to standing. Rolling the shoulders back when you arrive and just feel that strength through that right leg. So again, the glutes, the quads switched on all the way down to the ankle, the foot. Take one more inhale. And then as you exhale, begin to come back. So sending the left leg back, half moon this time. So you can either stay in your warrior three or reach the right fingertips to the outer edge of your mat or use your block. Take it slow as you maybe start to open through left side, turning the left toes out to the left. And you can shift the gaze. Taking one more deep breath. And then slowly start to soften into your right knee as you step the left foot towards the back of your mat. As you inhale, come all the way up to standing and straighten the right leg, lift the right toes and pivot the right toes in. So all 10 toes are slightly pointed in. Take a big breath in as you expand through the chest. And then as you breathe out, you're gonna come into this active forward fold. So I'll turn around face you for this one. So we're trying to find this length through the spine. Arms are out strong. Feet are pushing down into your mat. Inner thighs, glutes are activated. Let's hold it if we can for just one more. Inhale. And then exhale, fold it down. 
bringing your hands to blocks or to the mat. Take an inhale as you lengthen. Exhale to fold. Two more like that. Inhale, create space. Exhale, fold. Final one. Inhale, lengthen. And exhale, fold. Holding this one for a few more breaths. You could bring hands in line with the heels. You could go for the grab of the outer legs. And again, as with Uttanasana, try and gently shift the weight slightly more into the balls of the feet. And just allow every exhale to soften you into that fold. Two more deep breaths. And then breathing in, finding that length through the spine. As you breathe out, start to walk the hands around to frame your right foot, all 10 toes face forward. Inhale, reach the right arm up high, easy twist, one breath. So pushing through the back heel. And then option to go into your side plank once more, or you're gonna pivot onto the pinky toe side of back foot for wild thing. See if you can step the right foot all the way behind, squeezing into the glutes so we get the hips as high as we can, and then opening and expanding through the chest. So think about all of this strength, this stability through the back body to open into the front. Final breath. Inhale. Exhale, release the right hand down to your mat. Inhale, high plank. And exhale, moving through your vinyasa or making your way straight back to your downward facing dog. Once you arrive there again, take a moment to just find your way back here. So, so often we kind of flow through downward dog or through shapes. But just pause here for a moment, really feeling that rooting down through the hands, through the base knuckles, that strength through the arms. And again, creating that expansion through the back of the legs, through the lower back. Okay, taking it to the other side when you're ready. Inhale, left leg lifts. Exhale, bend the knee, open the hip. Maybe finding some little ankle circles here. And again, really try and push down, especially through left hand. We have a tendency to maybe slightly lean onto the right. So try and push that weight down into the left hand, keeping the shoulders squared. Inhale, straighten the leg as you look forward. Exhale, drawing the left knee in towards the chest and then stepping that left foot through or give it a hand. Finding your balance as best we can, coming into your high lunge. Take your time. Reaching up at the top, again one breath, take whatever you need. And then we find that circle, so as you inhale, expand the chest. Exhale, take the hands all the way round. Bringing the hands to heart centre as we come forward, breathe in. And then exhale, start to shift the weight forward into your left foot. Find your gazing point, your drishti, and it might take a few steps or one step for your warrior. Three. If you're near a wall, you can definitely have a little help. Push through the back heel. And again, you can explore taking the arms out wide, behind, in front. <laughs> and try and imagine this length all the way through the back of your body. On your next breath in, we slowly start to draw the right knee into chest. Can we come all the way? to standing, drawing that knee in. Take a moment again to just reset in this new position, this new balance as we root down through left foot. And again, you've got the option to come back to your warrior three or we move to Ardha Chandrasana or half moon. So take a big breath in. As you exhale, start to shift that right leg behind you. Gently begin to lower the left fingertips either to a block or to your mat about a foot ahead and a foot left of the left foot. So we create this slightly more solid foundation. And again, just take it slow. You can have a bend in the left knee, opening the chest towards the right, flexing the right toes. 
you can play around with shifting the gaze. Taking one final breath. And then start to soften into your left knee as you step the right toes and the right foot all the way back. Breathing in, come all the way up through standing, straighten left leg, come onto the left heel and turn the left toes in. And again, once you get there, think about expanding through all through the chest, all the way to both sets of fingertips. So we create this space, take a big breath in and then exhale as you come into this half fold. So again, squeezing into the legs. And try and imagine where the back is in a straight line. We're reaching forward through crown of the head, maybe shifting the weight slightly forward. And then option for your fold as we take this next breath would be to take the hands behind and interlace, breathing in. And then exhale to fold it down. If you've got any other preference for your presserita, please do feel free to go there. If you just want a breath or two with the hands interlace, you can do that and then release. Last few breaths. And then on your next inhale, if you haven't already, release the hands to the mat and find your way into a halfway lift. As you exhale, begin to walk the hands all the way around, framing your left foot and all 10 toes face forward. Inhale, reach the left arm up, easy twist. One breath here. And then option again to lower that back knee for your uh, Vashistasana or come onto the pinky toe side of the foot. Sweep the left toes behind into your wild thing. Breathing deeply. Really pushing down through right hand. Really pushing down through left toes, squeezing through backs of the legs and opening through the chest. One more breath in. And then exhale, start to release that left hand all the way down to your mat. High plank as you breathe in. And then exhale, moving through your vinyasa or straight to your downward facing dog. And then we're going to come all the way to seated. So looking forward, inhale, coming high onto the toes. Exhale, soften the knees, a step or a jump to bring it through. Give everything a good old shake out. And then from here, just extending the legs out long again, give everything a shake, whatever it needs. And then you're going to slide that right leg in towards you. So the right sole of the foot comes down. Left hand is going to come to the outer edge of the right foot. You're going to inhale to reach the right arm up and behind you, maybe connecting the fingertips to the mat. Option to stay here in this twist. You could also grab a hold of the leg or start to lift the right leg. You could also start to extend the right leg and you could also extend the right arm. You could even hover, have a go at hovering the left foot as well. Just find your way into a twist that one feels like it's, it's really benefiting you in the body, that it feels like you're getting a good amount of stretch through the spine. Um, but also making sure that we can create this length as well. Final breath. And then slowly start to release that right foot all the way down to the mat. Take an inhale, lift the arms up. And then as you exhale, Paschimottanasana. So for this first, we're going to do two variations today. For the first one, either grabbing whatever you can reach, whether that be the toes, behind the legs, the thighs, or using a towel or strap. We're going to stay a little bit more active. So as you inhale, lift and lengthen the chest. And then exhale, fold. But focus on creating that space through chest. I'm reaching the crown of the head forward. Mm. 
And then on your next breath in, slowly coming all the way back to seated, sliding that left foot in towards you now. Right hand to the outer edge of left foot, or you can take that hug of the knee. Inhale, sweeps the left arm up and back, fingertips behind you. Either stay in there, you could bend into the knee and lift the foot, or you could extend the leg out. You could extend the left arm out and you could have a few little plays around with hovering the right leg. Again, finding your way into a balance. Last breath there. And then release it all down. So release that left foot down. This time, take a big breath in, reach the arms up. You might have a soft bend in the knees. And then exhale, we come into a more passive variation. So you might wanna just allow the hands to be either side of the legs. You might wanna wiggle the feet a bit wider. We're just gonna allow everything to soften down. You can allow the back to round, allow the chin to come towards the chest. And just take a few really deep breaths. Coming into that fold. And then inhale, slowly bringing it all the way up. We're gonna make our way to seated to close our practice together today. If you have time, please do come down to your Shavasana and enjoy. Um, if you would like to close your practice, find in any comfortable seated position. And just before we come to close our eyes, we're gonna end with our Padma Mutra, Mudra, or a Lotus Mudra, um, which is, connecting the little fingers together, connecting the outsides of the thumbs together, and then creating this kind of flower, this lotus shape with the fingers. We're gonna take that mudra and bring it to the heart center, and roll the shoulders back and gently close down the eyes. I'm just ending with a few moments here of stillness. And with this mudra, with the lotus that represents its roots, Going firm into the earth, the roots that we cannot see. But then this blossoming, this expansion above the surface. So for the final moments here, once again, feel yourself rooted into the earth beneath you. And then feel that energy travel up from the earth into your body, helping you grow, helping you expand. And feel that breath deep in your chest, creating space with every inhale. And again, creating stability and strength with every exhale. On your next inhale, release your mudra, take the arms out wide. And then as you exhale, connect the palms, now finding your Anjali mudra, palms together, heart center, gentle bow of the head. Taking a final breath here to appreciate the time that you've taken today, the time that you've taken to connect, to bring together mind, body, and soul, and to simply just take this time for you. Bringing the thumbs to the third eye, we take that little bow down towards the earth. Om Shanti, Om Shanti, Om Shanti. Peace, peace, peace. When you're ready, opening the eyes. Thank you, everyone. Thank you for joining me for this practice. Um, I really hope that you enjoyed it. Please do let me know how you found it um, and anything as well you'd like to see more of. And yes, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day, rest of your week, and I will see you again here very soon. Thank you. Bye.